Oh, sorry. Thank you. <coughs> um, thank you, Mimi. Good morning. Welcome. Um, we've got quite a lot to get through. My name is Chris Elliott, and um, so I want to really start off with Natalia. I mean, you've already heard in the introduction she is one of the world's top models. Uh, she has four children. She's soon going to have another. And yet she's dedicated quite a lot of time to philanthropy. I mean, a lot of time. And I just wanted to know, Natalia, what, why did you decide to do that? What, what made you start The Naked Heart and when? Well, for me, it was really very natural evolution of my then very young life. I was... Uh, I was 22 when I set up Naked Heart Foundation, but I felt, because my upbringing was really tough, and uh, I felt that I already knew so much, I was quite naive, because mm -hmm. uh, really today if you asked me all over again to make a commitment like this, I would think 10 times uh, before, before going there. But at the time I was, um, I became successful as a model very quickly, mm -hmm. and um, that seemed there seemed no justice in there. And I, I, I am, in that sense, very millennial. Justice is really important to me. So I, I was coming from a really, really poor, difficult background, and I went through a lot in my life uh, being there. And then. Uh, becoming a very successful model also created its own challenges, like dealing with the fact that you are pulled apart, you, you suddenly uh, you don't have to survive anymore. How do you live with that uh, going forward? So for me, really, um, I, I didn't analyze it in this way when I uh, was 22. I just followed my heart. Mm. My heart when Beslan tragedy happened back in 2004 <clears throat> and terrorists hijacked a school, I was, um, uh, the shock, the devastation uh, made me feel I cannot go on uh, living the same life. I have to do something about it. And uh, this was the ignition. This is the, was the spark. This was all I needed. It's just a, a reason to... Uh, to start to start giving back and making that part of my life and very quickly it became so rewarding so much more rewarding than my everyday life uh, as a fashion model and uh, and and indeed uh, made a lot of sense to uh, harvest incredible multi billion dollar industry into giving back to those in need. And, and I believe you, you're working with at least a, a 160 local authorities in, uh, in Russia for, with Naked Heart. Just tell us a little about Naked Heart. N Naked Heart Foundation, uh, back in 2004, we, uh, we started looking at play because it's something uh, that uh, as a child I was uh, really lacking. My sister was born with uh, special needs with autism and cerebral palsy. And uh, due to that, we, we were uh, ex really excluded uh, uh, from society in many ways. And when I went outside, it was uh, to, my, my sister loved to, to be outside and um, we spent hours outside. But the looks, the, the fact that, you know, my, my peers wouldn't, because of my sister would not include me in their games. And um, so for me, really, it was as a sibling of uh, a, um, a, a girl with special needs, it was really tough. We had really nowhere to go. So we started at Naked Heart Foundation looking at play and also how how play, not just, you know, this is my trauma, mm -hmm. this was my issue, but there are so many children living in Russia that were also living around me whose parents were, uh, had alcohol problems or uh, abusive uh, uh, families or, uh, you know, children who were my age but already uh, drug addicts, mm -hmm. sniffing glue on the street. I was exposed to all of this. I saw all of this bullying at school, there were gangs. And um, so I think that 
when it comes to play, mm. we cannot argue that this is not something important for children. So, so you, I mean, it's a key part of the work of Naked Heart, that you try to encourage local authorities by certain kinds we, of grants. We started to... building play parks. It was actually uh, picked up very quickly. Today we have um, 100 and over 150 play parks mm. and playgrounds throughout Russia. Um, then later we expanded our work five years ago into actually providing vital support to families raising mm -hmm. children with special needs. Mm -hmm. uh, when, I, when I realized that mm, the case of my mother standing by Oksana, my mm -hmm. sister, was exceptional, really mm -hmm. uh, exceptional out of the rules and mainly children end up in institutions, this was this was breaking point. I, 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 I understood that, again, you know, I cannot go on without um, trying to do something about it. And it, it's your experience, with, there's an important point, connection between Naked Heart and Elby, because your experience working with Naked Heart saw you identify, I believe, you know, charities that in, in, in Russia, which were just getting along by very small amounts of money, maybe only a thousand dollars, something like that. So just t tell us how you got from Naked Heart to LB, and then what is LB? The Naked Heart Foundation is today an umbrella charity for a lot of small organizations. We, um, through, mainly through our work with um, uh, people with special needs and, and, and their families, and, and those, those organizations are really the ones doing incredible work in the field. They are the ones working directly with the family very often. What we do is, um, as Naked Heart Foundation, we, um, we endorse them uh, in, mm -hmm. in many ways financially. We, um, we provide international uh, expertise. Mm -hmm. um, we know how this is really important to grow those organizations. So this is where we come in. But really, it was so frustrating to meet these people who are real, first of all, real angels. They dedicate their life beyond, uh, you know, we, we all try to do our bit uh, and we mm. all can today contribute. But those people really dedicate their life and no one knows about it. No one hears about mm. it. So, um, indeed, a part of LB that will talk about it um, uh, today, but a uh, big part of LB is uh, enforcing those, um, those people, those kind of organizations, small organizations working in the field, how we can. Today we live in a connected world. Mm. We live in a world powered by digital, uh, by social media. Uh, why mm. can't we make them our heroes? Right, now I know we want to talk about why the people in this audience, uh, audience are important, but just tell us briefly, what is LB and how does it work? The idea of it. LB, uh, LB in the new, it's a new model of microphilanthropy. It's a platform and an app that brings the power of social and digital worlds to charities in order to connect them with people around the world. Mm -hmm. Okay. This and, is an, in short. And, and, and the key thing is, is that you can donate as little as a dollar, isn't it? Yes, there is a, 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 a big um, emphasis is on micro donation, yeah. uh, on, on one dollar donation, and we call it, um, we call uh, uh, this, this tool a love button. Yes. So we say, you know, if you really love something, you put a little money behind it. But really, LB is not just about donating. LB is a lot about sm small actions that make big difference. That's what mm -hmm. actually LB stands for. L being little mm -hmm. action, B uh, making a big difference. Just uh, briefly, before we move on to, um, uh, to, to really the millennials and what they mean, just how many charities does L is LB currently working with? Do you know? Yes, uh, sure. We, we have now uh, a, a little over 30 charity partners mm -hmm. and uh, 
uh, we are really at uh, MVP stage, mm. minimal mm. viable product. I'm sure mm. you all know in, in the room what it is. Well, this audience will. <laughs> exactly. So um, uh, at MVP stage, uh, LB is really, it's an app. We, mm -hmm. um, we're looking to grow it into uh, a platform. Mm -hmm. But already there, are, um, we have an engaged audience for our charity partners. We. Uh, we have um, we have this in very important uh, loop for LB is uh, is one you do your action which you can choose um, every day you can choose out of three different charities three different projects and uh, it can be things that you do absolutely every day. We mm -hmm. all go on social media, we mm -hmm. post pictures, we write messages. So this is what LB is about. There, you can write a message, you can uh, take a picture, you can make a drawing, which okay. now with uh, digital tools is available to, or you can vote. And to our charities, this is really valuable, mm -hmm. um, small actions that make difference to the beneficiaries. Okay, I d and, and we could talk about that more, but I want to bring in the audience in a way, because the title of this session is Good is the New Call. And this conference is about millennials. Um, you're a millennial. Your charity is aimed at millennials. Uh, they're the most desired audience. And so, you know, how does LB work with millennials? And I think you've got some slides you want to show. So let me um, leave it to you to go into your slides. Okay. And you can talk about Thank it. Thank you. So, yes. Uh, well, LB, we go straight. So, as I said, little big is really uh, important to us. It's all about little action and, and big difference. L and B also stands for love button. And I'll talk about the importance of love button. Love button is very um, interesting. So, uh, you know, this is one of the, don't just keep on asking. This is, you know, LB is really a solution to, uh, to uh, free audiences that we are looking to engage with, charities, brands and of course um, our users, just people who can, who are looking to make a difference going forward, uh, mainly millennials actually, because uh, we know today millennials, 83% uh, of millennials have mobile phone and at the same time 83% of charities don't have a mobile solution. And so this is where LB comes in. Uh, and, you know, charities are, uh, at the moment, they don't really know how to engage millennials. Uh, so we, you know, this is an important insight from millennials. They say, you know, don't just keep on asking uh, me to contribute and don't ask just for donations. So with LB, you'll see this is, our, this is how you would discover LB if you came, came on board. You have three campaigns. Here's uh, three different charities that we work with, Post Pals, um, the Caribbean Center. I, I, I don't see what the third one is, but um, Space uh, you know, the iconography shows you that you can vote, you can take a picture, you can write a message. And, and um, uh, then you would discover you know, very short campaign. It's always about storytelling. Uh, and um, here, I can go actually into the next slide, where, where do I point? So, you know, it's also about making your involvement effortless. Uh, so on the sibling day, for example, we did this campaign of uh, asking, um, oh no, this is April's full, oh, okay. <laughs> so on April's full day, we, we asked everyone to make a, a, a selfie of uh, you having fun with, uh, with your colleagues in the, in the, in the office. And, um, uh, and then, you know, you do this and people love your, uh, your picture, but also, you know, they're, they're loving a picture of Jana, who kindly posted uh, her selfie uh, with her colleague on LB, but the donation is going straight to the charity. LB as a platform, we never actually even touched the, the, the money. 
So it's, it's not about, we don't, we're not asking you to donate to a particular cause, we're telling you, have fun, like you do every day, and get your audience, get your friends, love the content that you create. And, uh, and this is a much more fun way to engage uh, uh, audience from, by, by charities, or then in the future, let's say, uh, a, a, a brand can come and match your donations or match your actions with real, uh, with real money if they're, for example, looking for fun young audience to engage with. And, and, yes, as I said, making no effort whatsoever is really, it's really important. We, today we, we, are, we are really love rich, time poor audience. So we, you know, we, we, we're doing our coffee. Uh, LB, one of LB actions can be as easy as uh, updating your uh, uh, Facebook status or making a tweet, and but at the same time you're doing something, um, you're doing something meaningful, <coughs> okay. and and giving giving a maybe I'll skip this one and go back to it just in a little bit, but I wanted to show um, this because this is also. Uh, this will be really uh, explaining to you how we work in the, how the action, that, that little action makes difference. Uh, this is a story uh, of um, uh, an orphanage we're working with uh, and for Christmas we asked them, uh, uh, we asked all our users to make a drawing of um, a bobo. A, a, a Christmas bubble, and, and then uh, the children decorated the Christmas tree with these uh, uh, bubbles, uh, as, as well as us, um, well, the, the us raising uh, as a platform raising funds for the for the charity. So here's the film that you can see that will explain you how it really works. We hope. We hope it will come on. <laughs> no? Are you? Oh, here we go. Sound? Oh? No? Sound? No? It's all right, they're trying to find the sound, I think. What have you got, Derek? Derek? Derek. It's Derek. Derek? This is Derek. He's a child who lives in Uganda. You could draw him a Christmas bauble and it would make their day. Well done. Ah. What, that's it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this. Well, um, well the yeah. Okay. Um, really, you know, it's the campaign on LB was a one phase. It's a little boy called Derek. And we asking, you know, people on the street saying, please make a drawing for, you know, what did you get this Christmas for Derek? Like, Derek? You know, who is Derek? And then you tell them a story. Derek is this young boy in, 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 in Uganda, and he's in an orphanage. He has lots of friends, and it's Christmas. Why don't you draw them a Christmas bubble? And so, People say, sure, of course, it's so easy. It takes me two minutes. So people, people drawing the, the Christmas bubble, they post it on LB, they invite their friends to love it, the charity raises money, and then you see in the end, I don't, this is really disappointing, but you also see, and this is where importance in LB, this is something so vital to us, is that each time we create a campaign for you on, on LB, you'll have a feedback from the charity of how your drawings, of how your action has benefited the, that little child or, or whoever it is. Um, I mean, that, that, that's brilliant because that does bring in that the millennials, they've got a phone, it's not a donation, make a transaction. We've only got about a minute and a half left, but I just wanted to ask you, what's your kind of ambitions, your hopes for LB and where it will go? Because we're in a room of people where, you know, who understand brands and partnerships. What are you hoping for? 
Well, for us at the moment, it's really going uh, further to scale LB from uh, an app to a create a real, uh, real platform. For that, we need to grow our audience so that um, our actions can be uh, really uh, like even more meaningful when they are in numbers that those small charities like the small orphanage uh, uh, can get more donations and can not think about the the work that uh, they have to focus on focus on the work that they do and on what they do best and let us take care of the fundraising in a fun uh, in a fun but meaningful way have fun, can donate. Okay, Natalia Vodinova, thank you very much indeed. Thank, thank you. Thank you. It was very quick, 20 minutes. Thank you. thank you very much, guys. I think that we've got probably time for one question, if you want to take just... Sure. You can probably take one question. I think that was... Uh, First of all, that was really interesting, and I've actually worked in various different um, environments around charity fundraising, and that was one of the most interesting things in terms of ideas that we've seen. So if somebody doesn't ask a question, I'm actually going to pick somebody. So I know you want to ask questions. It's just hard to ask the first one. You've got one, one opportunity. Fantastic. There's a lady down here. Can we get a mic, maybe? This was the fastest 20 minutes of my life. <laughs> If you can say who you are, that'd be amazing. Uh, Claire Coleman, freelance journalist. Um, I just wondered how you choose the charities that you work with mm. or how they get associated with you. Thank you. So we work with better charities so far. Uh, we, we're actually looking in the future to hopefully um, create a real marketplace. I know this is sounds... You, you've got really... It's re quite frustrating. You've got the... The, the real essence of LB, you, you haven't got uh, a, a big ambition and the big picture. But for, for us, the future is that um, anyone who is vetted by their community, any um, uh, small organizations that may not be vetted by charity commission, but may exist and, and be really effective with what they do, and their audience, their beneficiaries can can uh, can tell can tell them uh, can tell us as a platform about this, um, and and then these people can also um, start fundraising on LB. But that's uh, in a, in a, for that we need to grow as a platform. But at the moment, there's vetted uh, vetted charities. We love to. We have charities from say as big as Save the Children USA as small as uh, Post Pulse or, or um, Whisper, the orphanage where Derek lives. Thank you very much, guys. I think we all would like to say thank you, and that was a fabulous and interesting uh, session. Thank you, guys. Thank you.